Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. And we are here to discuss today radio cricket strategies about the India South Africa series. How you can make your money grow on this specific platform? Because I understand many of you are well invested in different kind of packs, different kind of players. So I guess now it's time to think from the analytical side and start thinking strategically about how you want to sell your players, buy your players, and what you really want to do. And I have Nikhil Bhai with me today, who's also already had an in-depth thought about these specific points, and he'll help us cover these points all together today. Yes, thank you so much, firstly for having me. Uh, always great to discuss uh, rarely when the opportunity is there. Again, just to mention, it's a long-term bit, uh, yeah. so strategy is important in the long term as compared to the short term. So, having said that, uh, backdrop hai office in South Africa ka, so please. Take that backdrop one. Also, now is the time to start making your squad for World Cup. Start the preparation right now. Dekhu aapko konse team, sabhi teams ke squads fa out hain. So, hmm. ek, ek kulet karo ideas ke konse konse player hai her team ke job ko chahiye. Now, CPL mein, there were a lot of big players who are not part of the World Cup, but some of them will play regular cricket otherwise as well. So, wo bhi aapko dekhna hai ke chalo rasal World Cup squad mein nahi hai. पर वो बाकी फ्रेंचाइज लीग टी10 अबू धाबी टी10 आ रहा है वहां पे तो खेलेगा तो जो बाय सेल का जो आपको इशू है वो अपन बाद में आके डिस्कस करेंगे अभी के लिए एक स्ट्रेटजी बनाते चलो कि भाई ओके ये सारे प्लेयर्स हैं इंडिया के मुझे ये चार प्लेयर चाहिए साउथ अफ्रीका के ये चार इसके ये तीन चार तीन चार सारे टीम्स के क्योंकि सीपीएल में आपको काफी वैरायटी मिल चुके ऑलरेडी तो अभी उसको सिर्फ सेग्रीगेट करके रखो एंड नाउ इज द टाइम टू स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग पीपल हु आर मेकिंग इंपैक्ट तो आई थिंक टी20 में जैसा फॉर्मेट बिल्कुल सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दैट स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट रेरियो हैज अग ड्रॉप कमिंग अप इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू आवर्स and it's a 40 dollar pack drop and only one pack is available per user so like you can see here i can buy only up to one of these packs and which players do i have a chance at getting i have a chance at getting uh players like pant kartik arshdeep singh harshal patel and then if you look at the other side there's quinton dickock david miller dwayne pretorius so those are the kind of players i have the chance of getting at now how and why should you buy this pack one is if you saw the whole india australia series the number of mints for these specific cards versus the cpl are very limited and i'll give you my personal example here so that you understand this better when i got my packs i got one this player named cameron green now cameron green i the first thing i thought is cameron green is not going to play the world cup and i saw that in the market people were selling him for 10 11 dollars for the silver card and 4 5 dollars for bronze card Now for me that was already a win, right? Because I bought the bronze pack for four dollars, and I was selling one player for five dollars, and same way my silver pack for was for eleven, and I sold Cameron Green for exactly eleven. So practically, my second player became free. So I sold him before the first game, and I was very happy. कि भाई big गया खत्म हो गई बात. World Cup में भी नहीं है तो मेरा वो squad का tension नहीं है. After that, the the same day he's come and he's smashed me, my fantasy team and my. uh radio team also but what is the point here on that same day from 11 dollars the silver card i'm talking about became 25 dollars so here you have to leverage real time market value now if i had that card at 25 i would still go ahead and sell him even though i even irrespective of knowing the fact that he would play well in the 30 20 again or not why because i know that even if he plays well across the 3 t20s his likelihood of playing the world cup is lesser so here you have to think and make that trade off that do you want a guy who will who, whose card will play well for you in the game and you have a end of a chance of coming in the top 3 4 provided your other two cards play well or theek hai marketplace i know i'm getting 2x already i sell the card same thing happened with kyle mears in the cpl so this is how you will start thinking about the game because there are two sides one is d3 and one is the marketplace so these are the key places where you can make profit from and apart from that obviously you can keep certain cards with you like like nikhil bhai said andre russell might not play the world cup but he's still going to end up playing abu dhabi t10 which is going to be covered by them many of the top players in that abu dhabi t10 if you see their 
I, I think it's called platinum and icon players. All those players are most of them are CPL players. So I think you need to start strategizing because this is not, and I'm being very clear here. This is not fantasy where you'll come, you'll play for two days, you'll make profit and you'll go away. This is like that system ki jahan bhai aapne, if you put some money at, at a fixed deposit or at that interest rate, ki bhai, and obviously this is not fixed ki one month you'll get 10%, other month you'll get 20 and third month you'll get 5 it can vary. Like we have seen examples of people who have gone and got $600 and $700 even in their second and third contest. But how did they get that is because they were able to plan ki bhai, before these guys get these cards on their hands, I should get them. Like for example, India versus South Africa, no black card is available in these packs. So just in CPL, they are already sorted. Nobody else can enter the contest. Sorry, I spoke too much there. Nikhil bhai, go ahead. <laughs> No, no. So this is this is what we say about the strategy. That you have to think so much about this game. And it is fun because, as he said, there are two ways to go about it. Yeah, so you can think 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 about it. So you can think about it. Whatever way you like to play, you can play the same way. Now, like India and South Africa, this is a series. So, you can play the same way before. You have Quinton, you have Miller, you have Samshi. But if I don't have any money, then I will buy a pack. But if I don't have any money, then I can be smart that I have already invested in it. I have two other players in it. So you can also be smart and either sell them or keep them. So this is an advantage which is why we keep saying that you keep buying. The point is that we are thinking about long term. If you have two, like we have 3-4 packs in the sequel, so that now I have two cards of Quinton. Miller के तीन cards हैं जिसमें से दो दो मैंने बेच भी दिए तो that is my personal call कि भाई मुझे तभी बेच नहीं दे फिर मैंने दूसरा खरीदा तो मेरे पास दूसरे तीन की भी cards हैं तो that is why we keep saying कि आप cards खरीदो and then have a strategy कि okay ये player मुझे चाहिए ये player मुझे form के हिसाब से नहीं लगता चलेगा तो उसको बेचो but सिर्फ अभी नहीं चला इसके लिए मत बेचना जो उसका ज़्यादा games खेलने का chance है आप जो नेक्स्ट पैक ड्रॉप होगा उसके पास आपके पास सभी टीम के सब प्लेयर्स हैं जरूरी नहीं तो हैविंग ऑलरेडी हैविंग प्लेयर्स आर आल्सो इंपोर्टेंट सो दैट यू कैन बी एलिजिबल फॉर लॉट मोर कंटेंट जैसे अभी उन्होंने एग्जांपल दिया ब्लैक कार्ड इसमें है नहीं तो अगर आपने पहले ले लिया तो यू आर स्टिल मच इन अ मच बेटर पोजीशन तो स्ट्रेटजी इज करो एंड बी नाउ वेरी स्मार्ट बिकॉज़ नाउ पीपल आर स्टार्टिंग टू लिटरली होल्ड कार्ड्स एज़ वेल इन मार्केट प्लेस तो अपने स्ट्रेटजी बनाओ uh, you can return games and marketplace also possible. Right. And another key point is that whatever you think, like example, there are people who have long-term value, people like Devwar Brewers or some, someone who gets Tristan Stubbs. These guys who are maybe underrated today in the marketplace would be at a high rate tomorrow. So how do you analyze and judge those players? There, That's where your understanding of the game and of the situation around you will come into play. कि you feel कि okay this guy maybe is gonna play for West Indies in two years I buy his cards for cheap and at the reality is that many of these cards are available at one dollar two dollar because people are not giving them importance so this is your chance to think कि okay this guy maybe someone like Kevin Sinclair he's like upcoming he's bowling off spin so you have to think of who are those kind of people who can who you can hold back into your team Maybe they don't give you immediate return, but after three or four years, that NFT is the NFT that everyone wants, but only you have. So that's how you think about it. And the best part, like I always keep mentioning is you can keep entering as many contests you want without the fear that if my card does not do well four times in a contest, I'm going to lose the card. That's not going to happen, right? The card will still be with you. Even if you lose or rather if you don't gain anything out of that card 10 times, you still don't lose anything out of it. But yet, when the 11th time when he comes and performs in the marketplace, everybody will want that card. So yes. think strategically and think and that's how you will be able to build your whole strategy around it. Absolutely. Here is a long term strategy again. We are emphasizing on that point because it is a long term. So short term gain, ज़्यादा इन्वेस्ट करने के पहले सोचना आपकी स्ट्रेटजी सेट है फिक्स है तो यस प्लीज गो एंड डू दैट पर रिटर्न्स इमीडिएट रिटर्न्स आपको आ भी सकते हैं नहीं भी आ सकते पर लॉन्ग टर्म रिटर्न होगा एस देर आर मेनी अदर थिंग्स दैट आर प्लान्ड विच विल डेफिनेटली बेनिफिट 
Yes, so I, from whatever we understand, they are going to come up with player meet and greets. There are going to be in-ground experiences. Now, these are things that a regular fantasy experience will not give you. These are things that this specific experience is designed for, for you to get closer to the game. Because when, like, whenever we had this, and this is lit, like sort of inside information, but whenever we had inside conversations, whenever we started talking to Rario stakeholders, the only thing that they told us is that they have made this game to get fans closer to the player, to get fans closer to teams, to the whole ground experience. So those things will happen here. So don't worry about that specific point. Other point that many people are currently worried and trying to address is withdrawal. But again, that is something that is being worked on. The reason it's not being released is not because it's not ready, but because blockchain works in such a way that you have to pay a specific amount of fee when you want to withdraw out. They, they're trying to ensure that that fee is totally waived off. If you're seeing their community channels and all, they've discussed the fact that there can be a $20, $25 fee per transaction. But because they don't want that to be implicated on you, that's why they're taking a little longer to work with whoever service providers and vendors to ensure that you don't have to pay that specific fee. So that's the only reason why withdrawal is not released yet. Whatever is happening, it's happening for our benefit only. So, if that time is so hopefully it will be around soon. And yes, hopefully formal communication will be so it's easier for all of us to keep track. But again, long term value hai. Deko or Pado, you can always go up and read up their websites. They have tied up with boards, they have so many ambassadors. So, koi bhaga nahi ja uh, and you don't see Trivilla investing if they don't see a long term future. So, Again, this is the same thing that we have said in the first video. Bhi uh, so there is value for money. And some people have already made double, triple their investment in just one tournament. So it, it tells you that it is it is possible. People are already doing that. But strategy is very important here. So please try and focus on that strategy bit a lot more. Right. And another key question that I keep getting is, I don't have enough budget for gold or black card. So can I not play this game? No, it's not like you cannot play the game if you cannot buy gold or black cards. You can play this game even if you have the affordance for silver or for bronze packs or for silver or bronze cards because they have contests where you don't need gold or black con black cards to enter the contest. They have an all bronze contest. They have a contest with a combination of silver and bronze. So don't feel like because you cannot get a gold or a black card, you're not like eligible to those benefits because the reality is that, like, okay, again, I'm back to Cameron Green. But Cameron Green, whose like gold pack value, when you buy a gold pack for $4, his effective value is $2. But today in the market, he's selling for 5 or $6, right? So while that might seem small to you as an absolute, it's still 150, 200% of gain. So for the specific amount of investment that you're ready to put, you're still getting a percent value. Just like when you put money in a bank, you get 10% or you get 8%. You don't get 80 rupees or 100 rupees, right? So think of everything from a percentage standpoint and then you'll feel you'll and you'll also understand that what is effective for you or if it's not effective for you still fair enough. So think of like not only the game, but just on the whole ecosystem from that perspective and that will make life much easier for you. And I'll just add to that. Okay? I've bought many players or minimum price can be based on a marketplace, but still you are getting profits. So it is just about concept there ko bech rahe ho kab bech rahe ho se performance kar raha hai ki nahi kar raha hai to ye sare cheeze soch ke fir aap becho aapko profit bhi hoga thoda aur again this is properly analyzing what is going on in the market agar shadow and portal aaj 3 wicket le raha hai to match khatam hone ke pehle apna card list kar do acche price pe wo bik jayega kyunki that is how people think to aapko ye bhi sochna hai ki log kaise soch rahe hain marketplace pe baitho main to bolta hu ek din just sit and see how people are pricing people, how many cards are there. So there is also, you can be very smart. If you are a good player, you should say, I need it. But if the marketplace, people have listed a lot of people, and if the price is a lot more, then you will keep low price. If you have a budget, you have to get out of one pack, then then what is the harm in that? So make such strategies, experiment in terms of what is going on. Try a little bit. Eligibility, like Viren has already told you, that you can always try it. And have just bronze cards and still see how it's going. Or just as you make some profit, try and climb the ladder up. Or, uh, 
जितना रहोगे उतना और हम सबको पता चलेगा वॉट आर दर वेज टू मेक प्रॉफिट एब्सोलूटली एंड बिफोर वी क्लोज वन अनदर apprehension that i get from people all across is people are not buying my cpl cards or people are not buying players like maybe kirk mckenzie or tion webster now just think of it practically that just like you are in the marketplace even i am in the marketplace so if i do not need tion webster in the current scenario just like you will not just like i would not buy him nobody else would buy him so whenever you are thinking of the fact he why is my card not selling it's not not selling because it's a platform mistake or it's an issue with the platform it's because there's no demand for the card at that specific moment but again these guys will come in and play some specific tournament and again that demand will go up so whenever you think of the fact ki my card is not selling or is some foul play happening with me firstly think of the fact that would you go and buy ah, that specific right. card or would you be would you agree to sell that specific card like today if i had a jason holder black card would i agree to sell him unless someone gave me 400 or 500 dollars maybe not so the same way just put yourself in those shoes before you put it on somebody else and that will also help you understand and make it easier on whether it's actually someone else's fault or it's just a law of demand and supply dekho isi ke liye hum bol rahe hain ki it's a long term thing ye short term investment return ka platform itna zyada nahi hai jitna long term abhi agar kal t10 ya kisi ek format mein webster do century maar deta hai आपको याद रखना है एक टाइम पे लिमिटेड सप्लाई ही होगा तो अगर आपके पास वो प्लेयर है यस आई अंडरस्टैंड कि अभी लोग कम है पर लोग बढ़ेंगे ना द मोर पीपल ज्वाइन द मोर यू रियलाइज द फंड फैक्ट अबाउट डिमांड इज मोर एंड सप्लाई इज लेस तब जाके आपको ये सारे कार्ड जाके बेनिफिट होंगे बट यू हैव टू वेट फॉर दैट एंड जैसे हमने कहा ऑल यूटिलिटीज आएंगी प्लेयर मीट्स आएंगे मैस्टिक तो बिल सी हाउ दैट फंक्शन and then maybe you can take a call ke bhai uh, kaise karna but cpl to khatam nahi ho raha it will come again so long term investment soch ke uh, isme strategize kare so uh, it will be better absolutely so on that note and a lot of insights from nikhil bhai mm-hmm. we'll close this session thank you so much nikhil bhai for all your insights and to all of you once again like many of you have mentioned and many points that i'm ready to put out rario explainers i'm ready to explain point system the same way i'm there for you at any point if you have any question if you want to reach out to nikhil bhai for any kind of strategy feel free to dm him if we are not responding immediately we'll try to respond as soon as possible but always keep in mind that whenever we speak about not and not only for this specific app whenever we speak about an app we also understand that we are also accountable for it from some point and we are not running away anywhere we are always here for you and we are always here to help so we anything you can always put it in the comments or reach out to us and we are always happy to take it forward for you or to escalate it ahead to the required people so don't worry about that and we hope that we could help with this specific session and if you have any questions feel free to throw them back to us and thank you so much to all of you for tuning thank you all have a good time